This is BBC One in the North West. Now at six o'clock, the BBC News with Hugh Edwards and Gordon Burns. Serbia has just declared it's pulling some troops out of Kosovo. But NATO says it's nowhere near enough to stop the bombing campaign. The UN on the refugee crisis, three quarters of a million people have now fled. The 12-year-old from Blackburn is found safe 200 miles from home. And in the northwest, we'll have more on that story of the missing Lancashire schoolboy who's been found. And how Manchester Airport is getting ready to welcome a thousand refugees from the war in Kosovo. Welcome to the six o'clock news. A short while ago, the Yugoslav army said its work in Kosovo was finished and the troops had begun to withdraw. But Britain and the United States quickly insisted that the gesture fell far short of NATO's demands. The alliance says the bombing campaign will continue until all its demands are met. Now don't go away because there will be more both local weather and national weather within the half an hour. That's all from me, Hugh. David, thanks very much indeed. Well, uh, tonight's main news for you once again. Serbia has declared that it's pulling some of its troops out of Kosovo. But NATO says it is not enough to stop the bombing campaign. The UN now says three quarters of a million refugees have fled. And here, the 12-year-old from Blackburn has been found safe 200 miles from home. We will bring you an update on the top stories later, but now with the time at almost half past six, it's time to join the BBC's news teams across the United Kingdom. But uh, that is it for a few moments. But uh, we will be back with a news and weather update after this summary of the national and international headlines from Hugh Edwards in London. And the latest for you now on tonight's main stories across the UK and worldwide. The Yugoslav army says it has ordered some of its troops and police to withdraw from Kosovo, but there's been a highly sceptical reaction from NATO. First hints President Milosevic was planning some sort of move came when he met a former United Nations special envoy today. But then it emerged that it only be a partial pullback of Yugoslav troops and police from Kosovo. Not sufficient, said Robin Cook this evening, to stop NATO from bombing. But we do welcome the fact that President Milosevic obviously now feels it necessary to offer half measures. But in China tonight, anti-war protests continued. NATO too is under mounting pressure to find a settlement. The 12-year-old boy who disappeared in Lancashire last week has been found safe and well in Worthing in West Sussex. Martin Dugood left home six days ago after a row with his family. Police say a 36-year-old man is under arrest. A team of senior police officers is to review the investigation into the killing of Jill Dando. Scaffolding was removed today from the BBC presenter's home where she was shot dead two weeks ago today. A criminal psychologist is now helping to track down the killer. Peter Sissons will be here at nine with an exclusive report from inside Britain's military command centre for Kosovo. I'll be back at six tomorrow, so see you then. Thank you, Hugh, and a reminder of tonight's main headlines in the northwest. <laughs>